hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and then if you're new to this channel please do subscribe and smash that like button and then on today's market breakdown we've got the dxy usd cad and then i'm going to be doing usdsr aud usd euro jpy and euro yen so let me just put them in proper format and then we can begin and i'll be doing cad yen also so it's about six pairs so i'll start with the dxy on the weekly chart so on the weekly chart i'm just going to zoom out and then we have this expanding type of structure within here like this and then i'll put my lowest low point around here and then i'll just zoom out and just look left then we have this high here of which already the market has just it's just close to that area at the moment so i'll go to the daily chart and then on the daily chart this is what we currently have and then i'll put like my red line also around here and then for the 90 percent rule also and then this is what i have and then on the hour chart on the four hour chart uh, i see that we this may be some type of a potential middle section around here like this just because we already have the one two three at the top of the structure we have this one here and then we have this touch here then we're expecting the third touch around these areas here so the market can just trickle to the upside up until that area before giving us some selling opportunities on the dxy so this is what i'm expecting at the moment so i can just drain this out and then first stop is at the override of which is the double top override around here or the third touch around these areas here so this is what i'm currently expecting then on the hour same thing and then switching to usd cad on the weekly chart uh, so this is what we have on the weekly chart and then we had this double top area and then now we are at this area here this is our lowest low within here and then we have this type of ascending channel that we are working with and then looking at the previous movement we had this impulse down this correction the impulse down and then this is the larger correction to reach the slow here or the 90 percent rule so let me just put the 90 percent rule and then on the daily I'll just drain this out a bit just to focus like on the current market structure which is this one here and then I'll have this type of pattern and then I'll put like an override around here and then on the 4 hour this is what we currently have and then I'll draw out this structure around here like this Okay, so this is the structure that we currently have and then I'll put like the 90% rule of the overall structure and then switching to the hour chart and then on the hour chart I see that we have a touch around here so I'll just cater for it and then the market will be like this and then I'll have another one going like this and then this is the double top area that we had previously and then we had some type of an ascending channel within here like this and then we had an entry within here so at the moment we are just focusing on this current structure that is trying to form up and then what i'm waiting for is a double top within here then i can look for selling opportunities 
and then another scenario that I'm having is this one around here if the market does not get to this area then it means we may look for selling opportunities but then here we may look for selling opportunities around here and then switching to the M15 So on the M15 we have structure going like this and then we can have like a double top around here price can just trickle back around here and then give us a double top mini double top before committing to the downside so those are my two scenarios that I have on USD CAD then moving to USD ZAR on the weekly chart so I'm just going to zoom out a bit and then I have this overall ascending channel like this then just look left and just zoom out and after that you'll see that we have this double top area and then we have this also and then we have the 90% rule around here then switching to the lower time frames, which is the daily. Then we have some type of a pattern within a pattern around here, like this. So I'll just cater for the current market structure and the touches that I see. Okay, so this is what we have currently. And then moving to the 4 hour. seems like we have a pattern around here also so I'll just put that correctly and then on the hour chart yeah that's where you can see like the pattern very nicely around here so I'll just cater for this area here it looks like an it looks like an a head and shoulders yeah it looks like a head and shoulders and then at this stage we are around here so we have this type of a pattern so on this one i'm just going to wait up until the market reaches this high value area within here so that i can look for selling opportunities just because if you take a a low risk entry like this your stop loss will be too large unless you take it at the top of the structure and then your stop loss will be a little bit tighter and then you'd be anticipating for a break of structure and then your first take profit would be around here and then the overall take profit would be at the 90% rule of this larger ascending channel of which is about 34 pips and then moving to AUD JPY so I'm just going to remove that and then switch to the weekly chart first thing that I do is just zoom out and just look at the price on where we are at so we are at this area here and then the lowest low would be this one here and then move back to the daily then on a the daily we have this structure this nice structure within here like this then I'll draw out the 90% rule then if you look left you'll see that we haven't broken like this high here we haven't broken this high already so the market is already trickling up to the upside like this so I'm anticipating that the market will drop will impulse up and then break this area and then come back with the retracement then we can get like continuations to sell off and then what I'm going to do is just to cater for this pattern that we have within here like this and then I'd have like an override within here an override within here and then another override within here like that now let me just put these things properly so this is what I currently have on the daily switching to the 4 hour then I'll put this correctly like this 
then you can see that the market is starting to correct correct at this area then i'll be looking for a retracement and then a low risk entry instead of a risk entry just because we have two high value areas at the top so taking a low risk entry is safe for me and then moving to the hour that's where you'll see uh, the pattern that i was talking about on the four hour very nicely which is this one here like this okay so this is what we have at the stage so my analysis or my forecast would be this top of the structure and then I look for some type of a let me just remove that and just show you what I'll be looking for like this type of movement at the top of the structure then I'll be looking for some cells around there stop loss just above first take profit 90% rule second take profit on the outer structures and then I'll be anticipating the market to break this area here so we can get like some type of continuations within here then we continue selling so that's AUD JPY for me or if we can get this type of structure this type of structure at this area here then I'll be looking for a risk entry at the top around there like this risk entry at the top of the structure like this get some type of a retracement candle then that's where I'll be looking for some type of selling opportunities and then on AUD USD can remove everything on this one starting on the weekly so on the weekly chart we have this low here people are caught in the wrong side within this area here you'll see it on the lower time frames so I'll switch to the daily then on the daily you will see it very nicely this one here and then you have an overall descending type of structure within here like this and then you have a pattern within a pattern in this area here like this Okay, so already the market has shown its hand on this one you can see that we have like some impulsive candles and then the 90 percent rule would be this one and then the last one would be the one on the outer structures like this and then moving to the four hour chart that's where i check for momentum and all of that stuff and then on the four hour already we have a trend to the upside as you can see here we have this impulse up correction impulse up so we are waiting for another correction to continue to the upside just like that and then moving to the hour so on the hour chart already there's something that is trying to form up around here so I can just put another ray line at the top trend line at the top like this and then push this one back a bit so that I can just focus on this one and then we have a high value area at the top like that so I can take like a counter trend just to look for some short term sales around here and then continue with the original trend of which is to the upside so I'll just see if the market will give me like an opportunity and then we have a head and shoulders at the top like this so I can just wait for another cell for a cell and then continuation to the upside so let me just remove this and then have a trend line on the neckline like that and then have another ray line here at the top and then I'll remove this one here and then I'll be focusing on this area here on whether we get like some type of an impulse down correction or we break this neckline and then we try to retest the neckline then that's where I'll look for a cell 
trade and then my take profit would be around share for 11% if my stop is about 15 15 pips then I'll be looking for 9% and then I'll be looking for continuations around this area here let's say maybe we get some type of this let's say maybe we get this structure here at the lows when we hit TP and then I'll be looking for another trade to the upside at that stage like this okay so we are done with AUD USD so moving to Euro JPY so let me just remove everything so on the daily chart let me start on the weekly also on this one so on the weekly chart you just zoom out look at the market and then we are at this high value area here of which people are calling the wrong side around here and then I'll have my lowest low within this area here and then on the daily on the daily I'll just focus on this current market structure here there's no need for me to draw out like this structure within here just because it's no longer valid for me it'll give me like some wrong signals rather I take this structure within here and then try to work this with with with, with the structure here like this then we have an ascending channel at the top of the structure of which is a good signal and then we have the market giving us higher lows and lower lows within here so already we are at the lower low we are expecting a higher low so that it can give us like some type of a continuation to continue selling to the downside just because already this is a bearish movement so i'll just put a ray line here just to show me where we are at with the trend and then on the lower time frames maybe i can find something i can work with so i'll just put this like this and then remove this one here then switch to the four hour then on the four hour just put this nicely so on the four hour i see that we have like a value area here that is in line with the structure that i had so the market can just trigger to the upside up until here giving me an ascending channel that's where i'll be looking for continuations to the downside but let's just look at it on the hour chart so yeah on the hour chart as i was saying this trend is in line with the structure that the market is trying to form up so you can have something like this but i think the market will drop a bit around there just because it won't give us like an ascending channel that is like this it will drop maybe let me just remove this just so you, it will drop maybe around here let me just remove that my drawing is not perfect and then continue back to the upside like this and then give us that value area that we want and then maybe get something of this nature let me just fix this maybe we can get something like this or let me just use uh, this bar replay tool Let me just use this price around here. Maybe get something of this nature and then get the last leg like this. Like this. Like this. Then we can look for selling opportunities at the top of the structure. And then your shot would be here. Protected by the trend line or the trend. And then first take profit is around here for 4.2 and then the overall take profit is around here for about 10 percent so that's euro yen and then cad yen which is our last pair moving to the weekly chart then you just zoom out look at the overall structure we are at the double top area then you have this low here like this and then switching to the daily then on the daily chart I'll just focus on this current area that we have around here like this 
this is what we have currently at the top of the structure then put my 90% rule then I'll just remove this ray line around here then already we broke structure very impulsively now we're in the corrective phase then I have this double top area within here like this then on the 4 hour chart on the 4 hour this is what we currently have and then we have this structure at the top Then I'll just drain this out a bit so that we can focus on this structure here and then on the hour chart this is what we are working with currently and then my thought process on this one is very simple I have this high value area here and then I have this larger structure trying to form up around there and then let me just focus on this one the current one which is this one here and then I'll remove the ray line and just put it around here like this and then what I'm expecting is for the market to reach this double top area very correctively like it is at the moment and then get like some type of a push down or a retracement candle then I'll be taking some type of a risk entry at the top of the structure stop loss just above this trend line here just above it a bit or below I'll see which type of candlestick pattern that I get and then the first take profit is here and then the overall take profit is around that 90% rule here like this and then you're looking at a 16% trade here and then that is it guys for today's market breakdown and then I'll see you on another one